Hi there guys, so some good news, WBC President Maurizio Suleiman has explained that they will support Tyson Fury through these drug claims. Obviously a farmer came out and said that he provided a false alibi for Tyson Fury amidst Tyson Fury's failed or adverse finding, we'll call it, in 2015. Because it wasn't a failed drugs test as such, it was more an adverse finding. He did fail a drugs test in 2016, but that was for cocaine, not a performance enhancing drug. Now, this is what WBC President Maurizio Suleiman had to say about Tyson Fury. What credibility could someone who allegedly received money to lie have now? This seems to be a shakedown. Unless there is a formal case put forward, I do not see this as a matter other than fake news. So there we go, and I'm very happy that the WBC have supported Tyson Fury, because Tyson Fury has had a torrid few years. The last five years have been so up and down for Tyson Fury. Can the guy just not catch a break? He's got back to the top of the heavyweight division. He's got all of it back that he lost. And now all of a sudden, this comes out. I mean, the guy does struggle with mental health issues. And can the guy just get a break? I mean, as I said, Tyson Fury over the past five years has been very up and down. He's had his struggles and most of them have been outside of the ring. I mean, he didn't really have a problem with Deontay Wilder in the ring on February 22nd. He dealt with him quite comfortably. I mean, that just shows how good Tyson Fury really is. His troubles seem to come outside of the ring. And after that display, after beating Deontay Wilder, becoming WBC heavyweight world champion, and after which, having owned all of the heavyweight belts in the heavyweight division, not at the same time, but still, he has held every single belt he can in the heavyweight division. What a great moment for Tyson Fury. And then this comes along. And I'm just glad that the WBC are supporting Tyson Fury. And as well, they should do. I mean, it was bad what they done with Dylan White. Dylan White had an adverse finding with UCAD, not VADA, who is the voluntary anti-doping agency that WBC use. WBC don't even recognize UCAD, yet they still suspended Dylan White's mandatory position until February 2021. So you would have to worry that they were going to do the same thing with Tyson Fury, but they have confirmed they will not strip Tyson Fury of his belt and he will go into the Deontay Wilder rematch or third fight, whatever you want to call it, trilogy. He will go into that fight as a WBC world champion. The WBC are going to support Tyson Fury through this, which is great. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? WBC president Maurizio Suleiman has said that they will support and they will not strip Tyson Fury of his WBC world title. Guys, drop your thoughts in the comments below. Click the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.